Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. This and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he gets it. 39. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. They go play action with Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting right about four contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know it's so difficult for every defense to have to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments, it matches athleticism. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now it's Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews. He's tight in. And they'll have it in the red zone. One of their watch words leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Quick slant to Brown. And the Ravens are going to have it here on a roll. It's another first down. Here's Jackson to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Touchdown! Field and score on the opening drive. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. Jackson here is going to look to throw, and the Ravens will be following the touchdown. And he's able to get this across. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 21. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he will lose yard ends. Extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now a nice throw here, right side. He hauls it in. And the goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there, perfectly executed. The converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Now on second and 13, Wilson. Catches made by Metcalf. And he's going to be taken down with 24 yards. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the woods and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Pete Carroll, no stranger to rolling the dice. He'll roll it again. Fourth down, they're going for it. They run for it with Carson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down. And the fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Wilson. And it's a quick slant to lock it. And down inside here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages. Touchdown, Seahawks! Dwayne Eskridge, a 12-yard touchdown grab. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, I wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while. Off the plate to Dobbins, here's Jackson. 
They're looking for him. On first down, it's Carson. And he's been behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second. And over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. Powering his way forward. And he'll be brought down with the first down. Morning. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. On first down, Wilson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Seahawks are going to have nice 12 yards that time. They'll try to run with Carson into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Jackson now on second and ten. And off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. And this one is... You prefer not to give him another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30. Can guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen? Maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. He's seconds remaining in half number one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Jackson. And this is caught. It's Brown. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. This is over out of bounds. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the throw left tapping those toes. He tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Sammy Watkins in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens can take the lead now if they hit the extra point. John Harbaugh thought about it, and now his guys are going to go for the two-point conversion. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, here, because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a toss play. It's Carson. And he stopped immediately there. They struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Play action. It's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. Far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. 
And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Three yards to the game there, second. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. Brings up a third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. Myers' kick is good. And with Wentford and got stuff, they second guess that too. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he's going to get a good gain of nine yardage. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They go play action now. Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a short. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before he to any screenplay. It's space to work, and there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. From the 36, Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release. Got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Oh, and he'll just get rid of this one deep. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, 36 yards, and the Ravens have retaken the lead. This has definitely been a back-and-forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but... Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Over the middle, he finds Eskridge. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. All that you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And the drive starts with a completion. Too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now a give right side. Carson. And he'll be a little shot. Usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. He's got his man. That hurts. Now it's Carson. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. And he's going to press it. Here's the sneak with Wilson. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson 
keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And this... The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but they need to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Jackson to throw. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now Jackson. Dobbins with it. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Three yards the game there, second down. Jackson. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. Jackson. And this is caught by Watkins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And they show run with three tight ends here on first down. Here's Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Trying to go back to Watkins, and that takes us from second to third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Jackson. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Throwing now is Jackson. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. It's an 8-yard pickup, and it's a second down. Jackson to throw. And this is going to be caught. He got it. It's a touchdown, and forget overtime. Barring a miracle, they're going to win this thing in regulation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? The finishes like this, this is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they're going to have terrific field position as they finally get to him, but just shy of the midfield stripe. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession, and to get a return like that to start things off, 
That's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. So this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. GG's my boy. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. You feel me? I don't know how I'm winning these games. I don't know how. Y'all see my defense. It is what it is. But if you're new to my channel, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell. We're going to keep giving y'all great content. That one came down to the wire in my final possession. But it's all good, man. It's your boy JB. And I'm going to holler at you guys later, man. Peace.